Tucks and Tails joined by little Richard Ashdown after one of the most amazing days ever here at Lakeside. Yeah, it's one of the greatest days that I can remember. I've been the MC for five years and it really was a special one today. It was amazing to see how all four men's games broke down into the same score. Firstly, let's talk about Scott Waits taking on Andy Batons, the young lad from... Bartons. Bartons, Batons. It's been a long day, guys. <laughs> it's been a very, very long day. It was amazing. Um, the, young, the young Belgian went 4-1 up. And then all of a sudden, Scott powered through. Yeah, you say the same scoreline about the four matches, but each match has a different story. And, and this one was uh, Scott Waite somehow surviving set after set. They're all going 3-2. He's hanging on. Andy Bartons has six darts to progress. And remember, it's his debut. A fantastic 2017 comes in as one of the seeds. And what a great player. I can't speak highly enough of the, the Belgian. I really am impressed with him. And Scott Waite's did what Scott Waits does. Yeah, he's done it here so many times before. Yeah. Just a few more words on the Belgium. Like you say, six match darts. His composure for a young lad, for the first time on that Lakeside stage, was very much like, well, it was like a world champ. It was like world champion esque. Yeah, me. it was. And the thing is, we say we're going to say the headline says six missed darts, mm. but if you look at his efforts at the doubles, he was so close. Yeah. It, it, for me, he didn't choke. People will say if you miss six darts, you know. You deserve to lose, but he uh, he was close, and I feel for him. But I have to, you know, take my hat off if I was wearing one to Scotty too hotty. Really impressive uh, finishing under pressure, as we've seen many times before. It's the second time he's recovered from a three-set deficit against a Belgian. So I don't think the Belgians <laughs> like Scott Waits very much. For me, Scott, it was his 180s. Yeah, and his, his power scoring. That as soon as that first treble went into that bed, it was like. Bang, bang, bang. Three in a bed, there you go. And it was hitting the young Belgium so hard. But that's, that's Scott, isn't it? That's, that's very much what we know of him here. Yeah, commonly used phrase, it's all about timing. <laughs> Let's move on. Another guy that was very, very close to knocking out the current world champion, Glenn Durant. Durant. D Durant. It's been a long day, I must say. <laughs> um, yeah, <sighs> amazing. I mean, yeah. So, the afternoon session, we have two matches, 4-1. The other player wins 5-4. But these two matches were completely different. Jim Williams dominating the early sets. But from 4-1 down, does, uh, I think, produce one of the all-time great performances on that stage. His level of play across those legs. Did he lose just one leg after? 12. He won 12 in 13. Yeah. 12, 12 in 13 legs. Yeah. It, 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 that's, it was amazing. I yes. Mean, it was, again, this scoring, setting barn on, yeah. and then it was automatic. Glenn sat in then, and there he was with his checkouts, just like we know Glenn is. And it was very much, it's the Glenn show. I'm sorry, Jim. <laughs> I know you're my best yeah. friend, but I'm taking this one here. Totally. And I heard your interview with him earlier on, and he said he reflected back to the Paul Hogan game yeah. of 12 months ago. Very similar. The way he won the match towards the end, just dominating the, the sets. And it, it, it wasn't like the sets from 4 1 down, they didn't go close. Glenn just dominated the, the match and so impressed. It must have been so hard for him, yeah. as we've mentioned, against a good mate in gym. Um, but a champion's performance. He was very emotional. But let, let's touch on now the semi final that's going to be tomorrow Glenn versus Scott. The two warriors here that came through today, yeah. as well as the other two we're going to talk about in a minute. Yeah. But that there is such a game to, to, for, the, for the, like us, the darting fanatics are going to sit on their well, sofa tomorrow with a cup of tea and absolutely love that. Well, of course. I mean, I'm, I'm going to introduce the two players to the stage, but I'm a darts fan. And when you get the last two champions playing each other, yeah. I went through that earlier on. This is only going to be the sixth time that's ever happened in the BDO World Championship. Okay. Um, and it's been, what would it be now, 17 years since it last happened. Ted Hankey and Raymond Van Barneveld played in 2001. Stats. Yeah, and they'd Absolute lost. Absolute knowledge. They'd, have won, you know, they'd won the previous two, and it was uh, Barney that lost to Hankey in 2001 in the quarterfinals, the last two champions. That's the first time since then that this has happened. It's amazing. Another, another guy that I want to talk about, there's so many. The, the German sensation that I've actually nicknamed him myself, because he is. He goes up there, he doesn't let anything get to him at all. Um, Michael Unterbunkner was absolutely brilliant. I mean, again, 2-0 down, and he comes back some, and beats the Dutchman Richard Wiestra, who who's a very, very good player and has been playing very well for years now. Well, of all the matches we've seen, you would never have picked a 5-4 the way that Richard Wiestra started. You would never have picked a 5-4. Was it the first seven legs he won? The first seven, Richard. The first seven legs, and he had a 73% double percentage yeah. after the first two sets. Yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> Unter Buchner is reminding me of Christian Kist of six years ago, someone that came through the playoffs, we'd barely heard of him, and he's playing up there like he's been up there for years. And, and that's darts, I think, that you get some players, you've either got it or you haven't. Mikhail has got it. Yeah. In terms of his attitude, the way he approaches the hockey and the way he plays on that lakeside stage, another one, a debutant, he was talking to me earlier about um, he's, got a, he's got a mental coach that has obviously helped him. Mm -hmm. and. Con controlled his nerves because must, he, must, he must get nervous upon that stage absolutely and it was a different kind of match from the others that it was <laughs> Venstra that had the ascendancy going into the last set mm. unlike all the others there wasn't the momentum issue in this one uh, it was a different kind of match and Unter Buchner showed experience beyond his years on that stage mm. he, I think he was superb finally last but definitely not least at all Mark McGinney took on Wayne Warren tonight, Yeah, and that was a battle. Oh, it was so entertaining. I really enjoyed it. And I know that there were so many people here at the lakeside, myself included. Once the sets were exchanged, we were all just hoping it would go 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. So we would have four, four, fours. <laughs> it's the first time it's ever happened over that format. The last time it happened at lakeside was 1991, when the, the quarterfinals were best of seven sets. Right. So we had four, four threes. But this is the first time now that we have had four five fours. And when it went to four four in sets, I was out there cheering on the referee, Nick Rolls. <laughs> Tie break, Nick. <laughs> yeah, this exactly. Week has, exactly. And, um, and all, he's, all the due to him, he's, he's done so well this week. I can't even count on two hands how many, how many he's had. Well, I can say that for the referees combined. But they can count on one hand how many mistakes they've made. They've, they've been absolutely sensational. They're immaculate. All yeah. week. And Very really, proud of them. It really. It's like a father of you. Mm, well, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's been an amazing week at Lakeside. Yeah. Wayne Warren started off his campaign this year against Wesley Harms. And he's just gone through. He, it, another one, he's just composed himself on that stage. He's been here before. He knew what it was all about. Never won a game here. But he's just missed two, a, a couple of darts a, yeah. a, by that Well, much. Well, the key, the key thing was that 120, wasn't it? He hit that the treble 20 and he goes for the single and hits double yeah. one. And then you can just tell there's a bit of nerves there. But Wayne came here wanting to do one thing, was win a match. Yeah. I know that. His debut was 2005. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to win a match. And he said to me, as I got on the stage after that match, I've broken my duck. I think anything beyond that was a bonus. But, oh, he's going to be hurting now. He's going to be hurting yeah. because he had the chance. But Mark McGinney has dug in. He didn't... Look, he's got the BDO World number 1 ranking but did not come into this tournament in good form. Yeah. A lot of people were questioning if he'd even get past Martin Adams mm. in round one. So, and that was another tight one. Tie absolutely. Break. Nick Rolls. <laughs> uh, tie break Nick. Exactly. So Mark McGinney, excellent once again. If I had a second hat, I would take it off to Mark because he's withstood the pressure and he's made it to the semi-finals. Yeah. Good on him. The Gladiator did really well tonight. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited for tomorrow. I don't know about you. Me too. And we've got the ladies' final to boot. Of course. That's another thing. We, that's another whole of the vi uh, in interview we could do. I know, but we haven't got time. We haven't got the time. Because they're about to throw us out of the lakeside. <laughs> but let's just say Lisa Ashton against Anastasia de Bromislova, two players both looking for that fourth world title. We know it's going to be a battle. I can't wait. And that starts things off tomorrow, which I like. Yeah. In the past, we've had the ladies final in between the two men's mm. semi-finals. I like this, that we lead off tomorrow with the ladies final. Yeah. It's a great way to start off tomorrow and we can't wait to find out what happens. Make sure you tune in live on the BDO YouTube channel if you're outside the UK, USA or New Zealand. Thank you. Here at the home of World Darts. The Lakeside! <laughs> I've got it. I have. I have got it. Have I not? No. Oh.